Last year. <laughs> Tony's missed us all. <sighs> okay, so I hear you've got a certain, is, it, is she playing tomorrow night, a certain young lady? Is it the next night? Okay, well the little story that I'm going to tell you includes our ladyship Madonna. Oh, Glasgow. Wait a minute, okay, we're going to test it. Me! Madonna! Me! Nice see. See that? Good God. I think, I think I should, do you know what? I should have brought my phone on and filmed that. Can we do that again, like at the encore or whatever? If I asked you what to do, will you do it for me? Yeah. And then I can post on Instagram. <laughs> and I can look like a real flash bastard. <laughs> okay. So anyway, this, this will really appeal to everybody from Glasgow here because this is about a man who we went to America to work with. A man called Dallas Austin. Oh, you, you know everything, don't you? Okay, I know everybody's here, there's a lot of people here tonight, thank God. And um, Dallas Austin, you will all know. He's the guy that wrote, Don't go chasing waterfalls, please stick to the rivers and the things that you used to. I know that you're gonna have it your way, I'm nothing at all. <laughs> okay, so that's Dallas Austin, okay? So Dallas and I had had this little relationship, friendship going on the phone. Because he lives in Atlanta, Georgia. And we it wasn't the phone sex or anything. <laughs> Seriously, only in Glasgow they were lost. I bet you that keeps you warm at night. No, we were just like, we had got chatting for some reason. So Dallas said, why don't you all come to America and we'll write some songs together and make a record? And we were like, why not? So um, the night before we left, I went to a party in London and I ran into Madonna. I bet you know if I can do that when she's on stage in the next few nights. You'll all be shitting yourselves. <laughs> Holiday! All about that dancing. He's a full of shit. <laughs> anyway, so she says to me, Oh, what are you up to? You see, you know, they're interested in what we do, these people. Anyway, she says, What are you up to? I says, Oh, we're going to America tomorrow to, um, to uh, work with Alice. Because she had worked with Dallas previously on the Bedtime Stories album, which is a great record. And she says to me, oh listen, let me give you a little word of warning. I was like, okay. She said, he's always really late. I was like, alright, I can deal with that. She says, right, so bust his balls on it. Now I've got to tell you, when we've been in Europe, I've been, sort of, we've been talking about this and I've said on the stage a few times, bust his balls, you can just see people going, what does this mean, this bust the balls here? This bust the ball, what is this bust the balls? And suddenly you've got these Texas fans going, bust his balls! Okay? So anyway, we get to America, we turn up. Now remember, we've only ever spoke on the phone. So um, we turn up and we get there, all the engineers are there, everybody's there. No Dallas. We wait an hour, no Dallas. Two hours pass. Fucker's still not there. <laughs> so we think, nah, this is this is not cool. This is just rude. We're going to go back to the hotel. When he arrives, give us a call. We'll come back. Fair enough. Okay. So we get a phone call about an hour later. The engineer's like, oh, Dallas is on his way. I was like, big fucking deal. <laughs> See when he's standing in front of you. Call us then. Until that point, 
course. <laughs> So, eventually it turns up, but at this point I am raging. No, seriously, I am so pissed off. I'm like, you know that when you're just like, nah, mate, that's not on. Now, he gets there, we walk in, I literally walk in and my face is like fizz. I'm like, stop it in. And remember, as I said, we've only ever spoke on the phone, and I've been putting on my Porsche's Glasgow. <laughs> well, yes, of course, that would be great, Dallas. You know, that kind of accent. And uh, he walks in and he's like, Hey, baby, what's up? And I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> I was... And then I let out... I mean, you, you can use your imagination because you're all from Glasgow, but you can... Well, you go Scottish, I think. And then, I let out all these nice, pleasant words to get rid of my anger. And um, it wasn't until about two years later, and we'd become great friends by this point, and we were out having dinner, and he said to me, I, I feel I know you well enough now to ask you this question. And I was like, okay. He said, do you remember when we first met? I was like, oh yeah. He said, well, you know that, when you came in at me that day, and, you were saying all these things and I just went, I have no idea what you were actually saying. <laughs> Fucking Americans. <laughs> anyway, the song we wrote um, that night, we wrote a song together and it's a beautiful love song and the song was called In Demand. <laughs>
Time to start, you didn't know. 